What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to the alternate timeline. I'm Dennis Smith. We're back with another Bleach reaction. Thousand Year Blood War. We episode 20, man. Last episode was fire. Last episode was fire. The White Haze. They did Rukia very, very well. As you can see, me and my brother were hype about it. So, um, very excited to see what's next. Um, but yeah, they 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 really pieced up my girl my girl uh, Rukia, Ice Queen's what we call her. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, before we get into this, super smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, and we definitely appreciate each and every single one of you. And, and you know, definitely leave comments down in the comment section below and everything. You know, we like to engage and talk about this stuff too. So um, definitely hit us up on the socials as well as at the alt time on Twitter X um and ig always doing weekly kind of giveaways prizes and stuff like that so definitely check us out on the socials um and then join the discord too discord is, is brand new uh, a lot of opportunities to be had there so i'm very excited about that can't wait to build that out even more so definitely look to join the discord there especially if you're a creator or so something like that you can get into maybe writing um you know sharing art uh, maybe getting on a collab with me, whether it's a live stream or, or just a video recorded session. Uh, yeah, man, just just definitely join the Discord. It's got a lot going on. Um, can't wait to, to grow that thing. So that'll be down in the description below as well. Anywho, like I said, last episode was great. It ended with a cliffhanger of some guy attacking the um, recovery division. And we saw Kenpachi Zor Zoraki's uh, lieutenant. She was there, which we haven't seen in a long time. Um, and they're kind of dealing with this guy who can basically disappear on you. He's He kind of goes invisible, I think. He, he disappears, and then he also disappears from your mind. So he, he's got a, a, a wacky type of power. But... Um, yeah, it's, the show started with uh, Ichigo coming back or on his way back, basically telling everybody like, "Just hold on, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right there and leave the rest to me," kind of thing. So Ichigo's on his way back. What else we got? We have um, Rukia did her thing. It was magnificent, magnificent Bankai. Um, Byakuya came back as well, kind of gave a little bit of a little bit of support. To Rukia, but basically left her to do her thing, and it was a really nice brother, sister, sister, brother moment that they had of him basically acknowledging her power and uh, her skills. So it was really, really good. And now they're gonna off to do more protecting of the Soul Society because the man Yawatch is getting more and more powerful, and that is an issue. That is an issue because the Quincy definitely have a whole thing going on, and they're working on it. Uh, they're beheading their own people and basically transferring Reishi power to Yawatch while he's asleep in the other world. And it's, it's just crazy. It's kind of crazy what they got going on. Um, but if anybody has been really tuned in, you saw the preview of this episode. And we have Kenpachi in this episode. Um, I didn't watch too much of it. I just seen pictures of the preview coming out. Uh, but yeah, Kenpachi's definitely about to show up in this. Uh, this is episode 20, I Am The Edge. So it's going to be gonna be fun. Looking forward to it. I don't think I have anything else more to share. I'm going to stop talking so we can enjoy this. I'm ready to watch this. I'm ready to do it. And let's turn this music off and let's get to it. Since you don't remember, of course not. You're not supposed to. Vanishing Point. Ooh, that's kind of a tough name. A Vanishing Point. Ooh, that's kind of tough. All right. Oh, she punched him again. She said, "I thought I hit him." Why is she so unbothered? <laughs> She's so unfazed by it. I can erase my existence. 
She's still trying to punch him. Her reaction is getting faster. I will erase my existence ever from... Whoa. Wasn't someone just here? Oh, she's still questioning it. This guy's kind of creepy. This guy's kind of creepy. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, intro time. Let's try this again. Nice to meet you. What does he want? What's with this one? She came at me on impulse. We don't even know if he's friend or foe. I felt a tingle in the moment I saw him. He's like analyzing her. So they both don't even know that, she, that this guy is there? What is going on? Did he already disappear from the other person's memories as well? She punched me on pure instinct. What a damn animal. I was told it's important to trust these tingles. Uh -oh. Tingles that make you feel cold, hot, or happy. Those kinds. Kenny says that when he finds someone like that, he can't resist slaying them. But Kenny's not here right now. So he wouldn't mind if I slay this guy, right? Oh, we about to see some! We about to see some! Oh! Wait! I definitely dodged that sword. My sword strikes its target whether they dodge it or not. What? What kind of sword is this? My sword is a copycat. Copycats on the front and back of my sword. So the more you try to gauge the distance and timing, the more likely you are to misjudge it. She kind of preaching right now. The more likely you are to misjudge it and you get hit. And she said, okay, come out. Oh, who are these people? That's her Shikai? But her sword hasn't changed form. It's not even... What? Wait a minute. What is going on? It's not even the materialization of the Zanpakuto's true form. I didn't know such a Shikai existed. Buddy getting slashed up. I thought I sliced you in half. Who's this? When did you get inside the barrier? They killing each other? Or a product of my imagination? Your powers are amazing. I mean, you can't erase your existence from sight, mind, and memory. See, that's why you just disappeared from my memory. Damn. He just cut Buddy in half. He's still going? I can no longer imagine a future for you. Alright, bro. What is this? Bro, who is this guy, man? He says, are you worried about these captains? Oh, he just walked out of the barrier. He said I already killed him? Rojuro and, and Hombo are killed already? Bro, he just killed him already? Oh man. We are in trouble. We're in trouble, man. They out cold for real? Look at their eyes. He just twisted her old arm. What would happen if the bone was made of cookies. Just now you thought it would naturally break apart, didn't you? If the bone in my arm was made of cookies. What? The greatest power of all is the power of- No way, he's got the power of imagination. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. 
Bro, the last person was fear. Now we're talking about a guy that has the power of imagination. Man, stop this. I was already thinking that the other dude's power was broken. To be like out of sight, out of mind, and he just disappeared from your memories. We're talking about this guy just can imagine stuff and it happens? Everything I imagine becomes reality. No way. That's got to be a crazy life. All I find is a kid acting up. Kenny! Kenny! Unohana, yeah. Oh, that's her. She's dead. I forgot about that. I killed her. If you hate me for it, you can go ahead and kill me. Ooh. She said, thank goodness. The fact that you killed her means you succeeded it. Mm -hmm. She understand the mission. Captain Unahana's title. She said, huh? This is, this is Kenpachi Zaraki? Yeah. You seem strong. You're just as I imagined. Bro, what? Why can he do this? Oh, you gotta let them go. <laughs> you gotta let them go. Post invasion Serate Stone Fort. I set the stage for you. After all, you're the famous Kenpachi Zaraki. It would be rude not to welcome you on a grand stage. So, what is all this? Some kind of spell? <laughs> It's neither a spell nor illusion, it's reality. I am Grimmy, the visionary who turns fantasy into reality. Oh my god. I don't even remember seeing this guy before. Ah, maybe he he was the hooded guy. You remember when when Yawatch showed uh showed off Uryu for the first time to his peoples and was like, this is my successor, and he had those people upstage. I think he was the guy that we couldn't see his face, but he had the hood. And I was like, he looked like a Star Wars character. It might be this guy, Grimmy the Visionary, that was up there on stage too. So he might be us. He might be a problem. He might be a problem. Grimmy the Visionary. I think you're lucky to be able to fight me. Because I think I am the strongest of the Stern Raiders. I'll say it again. I can turn fantasy into reality. See what I did just now? I simply imagined that my body was far stronger than steel. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. If you're as hard as steel, then you should have said so. I would just have to cut you as if he was cut as Yo! He said you should have just said so. I would have just cut you as if I was cutting steel. Oh my god. From the very beginning. What's with the face? Did you imagine that I couldn't cut you? Let me tell you something. Your puny imagination can't create anything that I can't cut. You know why? I'm Kenpachi, boy. I am the edge. That's tough. That's so tough. I am the edge. Yo, his his uh lieutenant kind of goes hard though. I kind of want to know more about that. I definitely want to know more about her Shikai. If she has a Bankai, like she's not Kenny's lieutenant for no reason. Like obviously he messes with her heavy. She keeps like the way she is just like it's almost like she's programmed like a robot kind of kind of is that way but if she has those two little whatever those things were those like monsters behind her as part of her she guy like bro what and her sword like you can't you misjudge like what the sword is or like if the sword's even hitting you kind of thing man she i would want to know more about that i'd like to see her actually in a in a fight like that so i want to see more of that they kind of they kind of starving us with some of these these uh 
on Paktos and Bankai's and stuff. Like, especially Shinji. Like, I want to see more Shinji stuff. I'm like, they gave me a little bit of that. I need more Shinji for sure, for sure. What is going on? What are they looking at? Are they sensing? They sensing Captain Zaraki's spiritual pressure. They think that they can win the war now that you're here. They're free to imagine that. Oh, he just healed his own wounds? Ooh. He said, but all I did was imagine that my sword wound was already healed. My power probably sounds like a bad joke to you, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does. Like, were you just imagining anything? You literally have to cut his head off. To a point where he can't imagine nothing else, or make it so. So maybe the way you beat him is like you make him imagine that he's dying or something like that. Because if he imagines that, then that becomes reality, right? Like he dies. That's kind of how I'm. That's how I'm thinking. Unless uh, Kenpachi cuts him down with the sword, he may have to make him imagine something so bad. <laughs> that he, he's like imagining death to the point where he dies like what's see but this this power is like what's off limits and what's not like say he imagines kenpachi dying that's not reality right but he has to imagine something physical maybe but at the same time like i don't know i don't know i want to know the extent of his powers for sure let's get into it People like you cannot understand my power until you lose. Mm. So come at me, Kenpachi. I won't use even a single finger. I'll kill you only using my head. That's crazy. It's Kenpachi saying your powers are ridiculous, but you but we know Kenpachi. He loves a challenge. I don't mind fighting against something that's beyond reason. <laughs> Don't be so hard on her. Right now, because of my power, every bone in her body is made of cookies. See, you just imagine him in an ice cube? Like, bro, what? The air you jumped up into was already underwater. What is this power? You kind of have to attack this guy all at once, because... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. No way. Now die a slow death. He think he done won. Surrounded by water and crushed by the cracks in the earth. One hour should be plenty. Back at it. Bones are back to normal. Mm. You couldn't even use your mind on Yachiru. He made a face. He made a face. He ain't like that. Sheesh. This is that Naklavar guy. He said the world speaks badly of those who cannot do anything more than imagine. But when you see someone who can do anything with their with just their imagination, it makes you realize just how peaceful it was when they couldn't do anything. Mm. You want to fight, right? Aren't you the strongest, Quincy? If you're the strongest, don't you want to crush the strongest? So come on, let's fight. Let's start the battle. You can't call it a real battle if you're distracted by someone other than the enemy right in front of you. What did this guy just say? If you're the strongest, don't you want to crush the strongest? I never thought of something like that. Nobody ever tried to lay a finger on me. Because it's obvious. <laughs> obvious that I'm the strongest. Mm. There's no need for me to prove by killing somebody. Ooh. 
He ain't never been challenged. Oh, this is a very interesting pair right here. Because Rocky obviously ain't seen nothing like this. But he ain't never seen nothing like the Rocky either. <laughs> he ain't never been challenged at all. This dude just grew up easy. He grew up easy. He ain't been around no dogs. He ain't been around no dogs. Kenpachi? Dog. <laughs> So then why? Why do I want to crush this guy so badly? Uh-oh. What? Oh, he ain't holding back. You used your hands. That's a good look. Looks like this thing is finally gonna have some fun. <laughs> that thing meaning his sword. This thing gonna have some fun. <laughs> the way he talked about his sword is funny. He said a good look. I don't know how I look right now. <laughs> he looking crazy. But it's strange. Why do I feel so good right now? Kimbachi. <laughs> Ooh, that was lame. Thought I told you I could cut through even steel. Oh. He said that was lame. I thought I told you cutting me is useless. Too slow. I realized too late that I'd been cut. I will be struck by his next blow. Woo! <laughs> no way. Why can't I stop his sword? Am I really going to lose to this guy? This can't be happening. He ain't never been challenged. What happened, Brody? You was feeling real good just a second ago. He said, this can't be happening. Kapati said, what's wrong? Uh -oh, homeboy is hurt. Did you imagine yourself losing? Ooh, he's right. Uh oh, clearing the blood. He said, thank you. I was able to completely wipe away any thoughts of my death. See, you gotta make him think he's di he's dying. I can no longer die. You will regret this. He said, I never did. <laughs> oh, he just imagined another, s another person of himself? He just imagined a doppelganger? I can't even create real life with my imagination. Alright, now see, this is what I'm talking about. How, how he doing that? How is he creating life with an imagination? How he create a clone like that? I need to know more. <laughs> I need, a, I need a, a deep dive into his power. Because what in the world? Like, what is the limit? Because at this point, if he can create life, doesn't that... Does that not mean he can create death? Like if he can make something alive, can't he kill something too? So why wouldn't he just be like, I imagine you dead? Because if he can imagine himself dead, and he basically dying, then he can imagine Kenpachi dying, right? And wouldn't that be true? I just want to know why, why that's not a thing. Because that feels like I mean, he's, he's doing basically the opposite. I don't know, man. I don't know. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know the rules. The power of his imagination simply doubles. A meteor? You can disappear along with the Serate itself. I've never cut one of those before. He's smiling. Isn't this exciting? Ha! This dude is just imagining this, and it's this is crazy. What kind of power is this, man? Let's just say, for example, that it isn't just my imagination. Suppose you manage to kill me right now. It would be useless. The meteor is already a reality. It won't go away. It'll fall and wipe everybody out. I'll be the only one alive, just as I imagined. Nothing you can do about it. 
Kimbachi hype though. <laughs> he said, sure, maybe for you. You don't know this kind of training I've been under. That's why I gotta I gotta believe Kimbachi's training prevails here because this dude hasn't been challenged. He ain't what he been training for. I mean he just uses imagination, which is freaking nuts, but he ain't been tested like this. Drink. Where'd you come from, kid? Hey, kid, what's your name? Neither do I. <laughs> Stu just cut a meteor. No way. <laughs> No way. He's showing off. They ain't showing off right now. So you damn monster. He said, calm down. It's simple, really. There's nothing I cannot cut. Oh my God. He said, you're right. That is simple. Oh, he's creating more clones of himself. Oh no. Increasing your numbers won't change a thing. Die in a vacuum of outer space. Your body fluids evaporate and your blood begins to boil. He just created outer space around Kimpachi. No way. He's cheating. This is cheating. This dude just put him in a a vacuum of space of outer space he's like in a void oh he's cheating your bodily tissues will collapse Jesus you forgot to harden your body ha <laughs> he trying to kill Kimpachi crazy. Yo, he going off against Kimpachi A play. <laughs> Kimpachi cannot be this hard to kill, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's snapping off on Kimpachi right now. <laughs> and he's still gonna be alive. This crazy son of a bee. He ate that. He ate that. He said, what the hell? <laughs> you really are a monster. <laughs> In that case, I'll just have to become stronger than you. Oh, he's imagining himself being strong. And the first time in my life, I want to beat somebody. I will crush you to prove my strength. You turned me into a monster inside your own head. The same monster is what just killed you. So basically what we were saying kinda, he imagined him as a monster. <laughs> he turned him into a monster in his own head and that monster killed him. Interesting, and that's how it ends. Oh my god, homeboy was snapping off though. See, now, now that power is like a gift and a curse at the same time. You just imagine yourself dying or like bad stuff happening to you, it's, it's reality. Like, you gotta, you gotta be dumb careful with that power because it's not like. I don't think it's a there's still so many questions about the power like I don't think it's like a you get to pick and choose what imaginations is is what you want to have happen and what not right like I think you know probably once you imagine something it's just this reality it's not like oh he can imagine um Kimpachi being struck by lightning but then pick if that's what he wants to have happen 
I think if he imagines that, like he imagines it, like that happens. Um, very interesting. So he just basically Kimpachi was so turned up and just survived everything. Kimpachi won literally just by being Kimpachi and surviving. So the dude just survives, and the guy's like, "Dude, you're a monster." And since he's thinking that, that's what killed him. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. This is just like the concept of this whole episode is like kind of wild. But yeah, they they kind of snapped on that one. They kind of sat on that one. Somebody had a clear vision of what they vision, aka okay, the visionary had a clear vision of what they wanted to have happen in this episode. And that's why they were paired together. Uh, Kenpachi and this, the visionary guy. Very interesting. Because there's nobody else that he would imagine being a monster. This dude, he probably was the strongest Stern Raider. Like, he probably would kill every single person here. Like, everybody else he would have killed. Literally everybody. Kenpachi is, is a monster. <laughs> we know that. Everybody knows he's a monster. But for him to see it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, he's a monster. Uh, that's what I think. Yeah. Over for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because it wouldn't have been Ichigo. Like, Ichigo couldn't have, pr probably couldn't have killed him. Unless he, like, transformed crazy and he was really on some beast mode stuff. But there's nobody else that could have killed him. But... Again, like I said, I don't understand why from the get-go he didn't just imagine Kenpachi dead. Because I'm sure that's what he did with the other captains that were there. Um, Kensei and Rojuro. I'm pretty sure he was just like, I imagine y'all dead. Because it didn't look like he touched him. He was just sitting there. And they was blinking the eyes. So it was like, I imagine y'all dead. And I'll see why... That's the only thing. That's the only one little thing I have about this episode. It's like, why wouldn't he just imagine Kenpachi dead? And wouldn't that work? But he gave he he gave Kenpachi everything, everything. He dropped a hand on him. He dropped all kind of rubbish on him. He dropped the whole meteor on him. Kenpachi cut that. He had clones around him put explosives on him like nuclear he survives that he puts him in a whole vacuum of space like outer space Kampachi survives that. oh my god he survives that and he comes out and that's the reason why he was like, dude, what even are you? You're a monster. And he's loving it. Like you see on his face, he's like, I can't wait to beat this guy. But you had already made it up in your mind that he's a monster. And that's what killed you. That is so that is so interesting. Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right. That was kind of that was heat though. That was heat. That was heat. Let me see if there's something at the end here. Oop. Got more here at the end. Was I killed by my own imagination? No, that's not it. No, Kenpachi Zaraki. My imagination was correct. Too correct, in fact. I was able to correctly imagine all your powers. One thing I couldn't imagine correctly was that only your body can withstand your powers. Only your body can withstand your powers. It wasn't my power of imagination that lost to you. It was this body of mine. I wanted to win so badly. Oh! What the hell? I told you I would kill you without using a single finger. Even this body of mine is all a product of my imagination. Exactly like I said, I didn't use a single finger against you. Seems like my imagination is at its limit. It's going to be so sad imagining what lies ahead. A world where I can no longer imagine anything. Ooh. There's just a brain there. 
What'd that mean? Struck by thunder, you're on your knees. That is my desire. Bleach, episode 21, The Headless Star. All right. The Headless Star. All right, y'all. Crazy episode. We got to see the boy Kenpachi. They keep giving us, they giving us everybody for real. They giving us, um, and you know, it was at first Renji, Rukia, Byakuya who showed up. We didn't get a fight yet, but we got Byakuya. We know he's here. Ichigo's on his way. Um, and then Kenpachi. We got a whole fight with Kenpachi, which I didn't think that was gonna be this early as well. Uh, we even got to see his lieutenant do some things, which is cool. We got to know more about her. I would love to know even more about her. I would like to see her in action. Um, yeah, I think we still got a couple more people that we need to see do their thing. Shun Sweet being being one of them, you know what I mean? Being one of them. I think Renji has more to, more to give. I think, uh, you know, we'll see about Soy Phone. We'll see about Toshiro. We'll see about Shinji. Obviously, Byakuya, we have to see that fight. Uh, like I said, Shunsui, Byakuya. Um, I'm, I mean, obviously, Kenpachi's got more in him. Right? <laughs> obviously. Uh, the lieutenants that were there, so Ikaku, Yumichika, Shohei. Um, Joshiro, if he's got anything to offer, would be interesting to see. Um... I'm sure Ruki has got more too. He's she's with her brother, so you have that. So we got we got some people. Mayudi, we'll see if he gets into the fight. Kisuke, we'll see if he gets back into the fight as well. But yeah, man, that's we we got some some things to see still for sure. But uh, man, Kenpachi Zaraki doing his thing, being Kenpachi. I still like obviously he can take. Whatever. I mean, he had Unahana basically stab him, kill him like over and over and over and bring him back within an instant. So the dude can withstand probably anything at this point. At this point, I mean, he was just in space. They just said he can survive space without a suit or anything. Like he can survive space, which is crazy to even just think about that. You have to kind of take a step back and be like, okay, this man just survived space. <laughs> He's he's on that kind of level. What's going to kill him? You literally have to slash him up. I think in order to beat him, you have to slash his head off. Probably not even then. Like he slash his body up. Like you gonna have to kill him. Kill him. Um, got a lot more to look forward to for sure. For sure. For sure. And I hope we get to see more of Kenpachi and his lieutenant. Um, Cause I'm just, I can't get enough of, of Kenpachi. He's just crazy. He definitely is a monster. Uh, but definitely cool to see uh, the visionary that Stern Ritter, he was really cool can just imagine anything I told you I had a couple of questions of like how, like what's the limitations the rules around his imagination powers um, all that, y'all let me know in the comment section below how you felt about this episode how you felt about the visionary the Stern Ritter that uh, Kenpachi just beat, how you feel about Kenpachi's entrance, his uh I mean, have we really seen new new powers? I mean, we got we just got to see the sword. We got to see the sword. Um, we got to see him withstand some some crazy things. But let me know how you feel about Kipachi. What do you think is next episode twenty one, the Headless Star? What do you think that entails? Um, let me know in the comment section below. But like I said, man, super smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Dennis Smith. This is the Alternate Timeline. Thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Love you guys. And I will see y'all in the next episode, man. The next episode. Peace.